Some call me Saracen, some Muslim. Europe had some dark age issues, I solved them. Using more of science, I'm stating the obvious. Rapper drone stepped up from Kush to Mali blunts. Unawakened, unconscious, unaware Moors. Won't accept the fact, plus we looked up black or more. Moors, the custodian of comedic Nubians. Carrying the marvelous light, the path Negroes to Nubians. Saying I'm a Moor, not colored or black. I'm a Moor, said to your Enki, they can't change that. Cause I know their hands don't extend past Allah's wisdom I'm a more, no doubt a contradiction Return to my own vine and fig tree Nationality of mind frame if you're with me Reclaim your ancestral mind and shout It's mine, if you don't like me Get out of here, I'm a more Red fans, black tans, elders of my class Not black on Indians I repeat, I'm a more Indigenous to the wall this west Say we were great, still they say we the best Hear what I say, I'm a more Stuck in the shore, oceanographic device anchored to sea floors. Goldfish of China and Japan, veil tail variety, brushing the cold water plants. Stretches of lands, jungles over sand groves, reptilian species and amphibians' homes. Defending Drew Ali, that's my mission to put securely in place or desired position. Ancestral mindset, not thinking like the hybrids, can't hide from a tent, so they mess with the climate. Mess with the mind, mess with the food, get violent about more subjugation. Your black leaders are quiet. Signed on to King Alfred, but they want you to riot. Pushing dogma as religion and want you to buy it. Most never do it, but they want you to try it. Too many have knowledge yourself on the shelves and won't apply it. I'm a more red fans, black tans, elders of my class, not black or Indians. I repeat, I'm a more indigenous to the far this west. Say we were great, but still they say we the best. Hear what I say, I'm a more. Yes, it's true, if not for Drew Ali, most of y'all would have still been asleep. Now you could tell them I'm more than you could ever wish you thought you would be. Three centuries deep in more of science I read, study, study, I'm a more. Sell out or get bought out for cooling. Being your example to follow with no strain. Met means mind, so govern and entertain is more than you imagine. Carbon is melanin. Quran and Bible angels are cherubim and seraphim. Riding on the light angles, traveling at warp speed. We created warp speeds, now we can't walk free. The mind is the plantation. Everything is mental. Even filling your brother with lead like a pencil. Mercenaries with chalk, use bodies as a stencil. If rival gangs won't stop you, barbed wire fence will. It could take more, but it might take less. Cursing your guard on jobs, cash in the fake checks. Spending fake monopoly money, counterfeit at best when you see something. Something is wrong, you need to counter it best as you can. You don't need a magic wand or to click your heels twice to escape dreamland. Just use your mind if you can't relate. You're living in an illusion, slave to the dream state. You just heard about Juali, don't think he's late. He brought nationality and link back to your east state. As Negro and black, we act like we can't see straight. Shaken by the shoulders, wake up from their dream state. If you just heard about Juali, don't think he's late. He brought nationality and link back to your as Negro and Black, we act like we can't see straight. Shake them by their shoulders, wake them from their dream state. In, 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 invasion. 
Drew Ali, my water when the fire starts blazing. Running with the holy buckets of Caucasian. While Asiatics daydreaming, mental stargazing. Not paying attention, but paying taxes and fines. Nas said the world is yours, he really meant mine. If I ruled the world, you wouldn't want to be black. You wouldn't want to be a deadbeat dad or be whack for sure. You wouldn't want to be the dirty moral leader. Convicted and facing my firing squad either. You won't be put in a box, forget the cedar. Taking tires off cars at unexpired meters. If I rule the world, dirty moors would hate it. Find them with their wrists slit and bathrooms naked. Find them holding shimmer handles slumped over with suicide notes to Jehovah. If you just heard about Juwali, don't think he's late. He brought nationality and linked back to your East State as Negro and Black. We act like we can't see straight. Shaken by the shoulders, wake him from their dream state. If you just heard about Juwali, don't think he's late. He brought nationality and linked back to your East State as Negro and Black. We act like we can't see straight. Shaken by their shoulders, wake him from their dream state. Dream a little dream. Wake up from the nightmare. Dream a big dream. Live your life in fright, scared to change. When everything that girls must do such or stay stagnant living your life as a pageant made of faces with eyeliner and makeup created by the same ones you call racist wake up allow dead their dignity and exercise patience don't shock them too hard with electrifying statements everything cloudy mind acting rowdy hypnotized by pipe pipe or sign and rap on godlies having so much influence you won't pull their pants up looking like a jailbird begging for some handcuffs in a dream state getting grands up for freedom Fiat is a slave to banks, you better see them No different than the people are slaves to brand names Move from dream to reality, change the landscape He started from the top, don't listen to your mandrake Only till clan hates and Masonic handshakes don't work Moors are back, do your homework and assignments Realize Moorish is the science Just Common sense was made before book sense Common sense was made Legendary, bury me in the north case. Cemetery, February the fourth day. Son of Mary, day ahead of my born day. Independence and law may sip another the lost case. With case laws, we break them down like Jericho. Keeping all my lions tamed, I'm Chris Jericho. I'll keep a mask on deck, I'm Ray Mysterio. Fake pandemics announced over the radio. Annoyed with the game, the joys and the pains. I rock bass, mix it with rock the hard way. I was in a lost state Prophets got me up right Brought me to a lost state Cooking like I'm salt bait Dropping like I'm Denzel Malcolm X, Deja Vu, Roman J, Israel And no one go out in plain sight The people still can't see it So the snake's still showing up Stay still high So the race still going up Warriors of the North Gate We not slowing up Born in the manger Sworn to be savior Walk through the valley of the shadows Of the death of the slavery Looking for life The book of Genesis Astro plane entry Invoke the nemesis, abstract images of past lives kicking in danger, running for your life, you're finishing. Morris or more, key man or oracle, using trinity powers to cipher allegorical, lost in metaphorical, holy books are metaphysic, facts like a dirty moor or a Drew Ali Craig, calling him Thomas or Walter and get your face caved, or cut like a close shave, drowned in my brain waves, squashed by heat waves, activating Kundalini, Abyssinia invaded by Mussolini, Selassie I am exiled, reptile. In Genesis, Negus appearing real. All I see is false evidence. They are feminists, torn, torn by elephants. More like the prejudice, but want Moorish benefits. When you feel the cold magnetic resonance, Apis horns of the sacred bull called Maleficent. Great cosmic mothers return to blessedness. No pestilence, ace all the testaments. Tap into remembrance, never to forget again. Use energy right, not put spell effects on men. Wandering the earth plane with no veil of shades. Keeps you a mental slave as the horizon fades. It's been decades since Christian crusades Not enough rebellions, too many vigil bouquets Holding on to the fence, burning on doomsday War ruled by Mars, it might be on a Tuesday Canaan Land Moors presents Common Sense and Quick Quick What we do here is we add some common sense thinking To everyday situations More comments that may arise Wanna give it a try? Want to give it a try? Already wanted to give it a try, exposing the gimmick guy. You wanted to give it a try, huh? You really wanted to give it a try? Islam to all the Moors worldwide. Peace and love. Honors to all the mothers. 
just wanted to do a quick run through put some info out there because it seems like any any dumb nigger could push live right now and upload something so might as well counteract their stuff exposing the gimmick I told them told them don't be sending me black shit because you're only gonna end up riding the mare of steel so we're gonna put exposing the gimmick on the mare of steel for a little bit don't forget tomorrow we're gonna be dealing with a couple more of his videos with the good brother Kush Day we're gonna have some uncomfortable conversations about exposing the gimmicks trying to diss Moore's videos the term Moore's has no significant ethnological value Europeans referred to Ceylon Moors and Indian Moors in South Asia and Sri Lanka. And the Bengali Muslims were also called Moors. Even European Muslim converts called Moors. The word derives from the Latin term Morus, first used by the Romans to denote the inhabitants of the Roman province Mauritania. The term Moor changed over time, eventually being synonymous with someone who was Muslim or had dark skin. Today the term Moor is used to designate the predominant Arab Amazigh ethnic group in Mauritania, which makes up more than two-thirds of the country's population, small Arab Amazigh minority in Mali. Noble Juali presented no historic or genetic case for the following belief. Ali believed that African Americans are all Moors, who he claimed were descendants from the ancient Moabites, describing them as belonging to the Northwest Africa as opposed to Moab, as the same suggests, as the name suggests. Suffixes be or el to their surname to signify Moorish heritage. Now First thing you want to do, you want to make sure that people recognize and see that I'm going to tell you some BS about some Romulus and Remus founded Rome and all this. But when you deal with the scholars on the matter, Tell you this is a Roman right here. Now, ain't no European have no dick hang, hanging down to his knees. Zero. No European. Not even the porn Europeans have the long dawn silver like this Roman right here. So if the Romans had the long dawn like this, the Donkey Kong. Obviously they weren't Europeans. Now, the problem that pale people have is that their women love the long dong. They always have. And they always will. And what we've realized, what we've realized is that they're gonna send their little people around to try to make it seem as if Moors don't know what we're talking about. You no, know, we're we're off on something. Right? We're off on something. Now everybody knows everybody knows in the world, everybody knows that the Greeks learned from the ancient Egyptians. That's a documented fact. It's a documented fact that the Greeks learned from the Egyptians. So if the Greeks learned from the Egyptians, 
why they keep telling people about more comes from some Romans when more comes from ancient Egypt and the high priests of Anu were called Moors. Why is it that exposing the gimmicks guy didn't find this information out? How come he found all this stuff about Romans and Mauritania and all this, but he never found out that more is on the ancient walls of Kemet? And then the Greeks learn from the ancient Egyptians so why wouldn't they say that these Europeans got the stuff from the ancient Egyptians why 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 are you gonna lie like Europeans are founders of something Europeans aren't founders of something oh good one I was supposed to message you too just set up my pan for tomorrow <laughs> just set up my pan for tomorrow why are they gonna lie they're really gonna lie and talk about Europeans made up something? Europeans did something? No, everybody knows who Europeans learned from. They didn't learn from themselves. No way, nowhere did they learn from themselves. Why are they gonna lie? Why? How come they're going to lie? Now, you sent me messages in the, in the DM, prove your sources and all this. Okay, how about the source called Hieroglyphic Dictionary by E. Wallace Budge that has more in there connecting Moors to the high priest of Anu. F your BS about some Greeks and some Romans founded some Moorish name calling Moors Mori and all this. Lying. Like that's that's a lie right but then you know we're the ones telling truth we're the ones that's gonna get our IG shut down for a week for telling truth or whatever like that when all these liars are out here putting out false information confusing people more more than more than ever confusing people And they're not getting their stuff shut down? Okay, we know you people are working with the colonists. We know your job is to cause confusion. Especially amongst the Asiatics in America, who they're already dumb. Because they're calling themselves black, negro, African, and all this stuff that has nothing to do with them. Nothing whatsoever. Now they're going to go there and lie on Moors because they see Moors waking up because they haven't seen Fezes since Nobu Juali's time because of all these traitors in the Moorish movement now they're seeing Fezes and turbans again now all of a sudden you know the Moors are you know, Mori and all this stuff you guys weren't talking that BS when Nobu Juali was around I hear none of you people talking BS other than Sati Majid None of you people were talking anything. Had nothing to say about Moors when Noble Juali was around. Now that Noble Juali is not here to defend himself, now he made up stuff and he created some fake nationality for Moors and all this. But we know what you people are doing. We see you. We see you way down there without binoculars. See you people coming. We already know that there's a campaign against the Moors because the Moors are waking up. All right, you know what I mean? We get it. You know what I mean? We wouldn't want the Moors to wake up too. After what the Moors did to you people and all that stuff, I wouldn't be wanting any Moors to wake up either. But the difference between us and our ancestors' Moors who beat you people's ass and put you in slavery and all that stuff, that we're guided by the five principles love truth peace freedom and justice so even though we're still calling ourselves more 
don't be scared and all that stuff you know what i mean no need to panic we're not we're not our ancient foremothers and forefathers about to put you in slavery and all that right we're we're not we're not them right we're dealing with things on a higher plane our prophet even told us when we got on top treat the european nice the europeans are fellow man he left the Europeans here long enough to teach us government and all that stuff. So don't, don't get don't get mad. No need to be mad. I know why you're mad. But you're thinking like your ancient foremothers and forefathers. That's why you're mad. Don't think like them. Think like Latif Bey. Think like Peter Moon. Think like Rick Smith. Think like Michelle Gibson. Think like Europeans who are for the liberation of the so-called black people. Because everybody knows that we're the founders of civilization and we fell by clinging to names that delude to slavery. Man, slavery is supposed to be abolished and all that stuff. So it's a new era of time now. You Europeans got a nationality. Don't get mad because we're claiming our nationality. You don't need to get mad. Just show allegiance to who taught you. Show allegiance to who made you, you Europeans. Because you know we made you. You know we made you. You know that the missing link is you Europeans. You Europeans are the missing link. They know People turned into monkeys, monkeys turned into people, and then back to monkeys, and then back to people. None of that BS. Stop the BS. We know you're the missing link. We know this. Right? Oh, might as well push this button right here. Let's see what we do. That's good. These people are up still. What time is it? Got a special. A special. This lot more. Islam, it's kind of dark because I'm in bed right now, but... <laughs> oh, you know, it's all good. I, fi I figured you were sleeping. I didn't know you are up still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm just about to go, but I, I, I was just listening in to uh, what you were saying. I just wanted to chime in real quick with that. Um, remember when um, Rick Smith did that, that lecture on the Moorish legacy, right? Yeah. And he was talking about the Galactic Confederation and the, um, you know, if you want to say the aliens that were um, responsible for starting life on Earth, right? Uh -huh. So it's a, it's interesting because this ties into, you know, M-A-U-R, the high, more the high priest of Anu. Yeah. He talked about the Shatas which was the um which were like the queens right mm -hmm. and um if i remember correctly like they traveled the galaxy and then they found the earth they found it was rich with minerals and <clears throat> they wanted to colonize the planet and so they're the queens so they don't do any work so they went and they found anu right and yeah. they commissioned him to to colonize the planet. So then Anu gave the job to his, I think, sons and daughter, Enlil and Enki and um and Ia, yeah. I think it was, right? I can't remember the last yeah. name, but yeah. And, and yeah. Enlil and yeah, yeah. Yeah, is it Enlil? I can't Enlil Enki, but it was it was Enki, I think it was Enki and Ia or something like that were the, the geneticists or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, they had to come and, and uh, <clears throat> you know, um, find certain life forms and, and, and use gen genetics to get them to perform the tasks at hand of colonizing the planet, right? Right. Now, the thing is, um, where this all ties into the Moors and the high priests of Anu, Anu... Like the the Shatas when they went to Anu, Anu was the was like 
their race of aliens were a dog race. The Dooks, I remember he was talking about the Dooks, mm. right? And they're supposed to be like a, like a dog race of people, like, you know, like werewolves and stuff like that. Oh, and so, a quick, quick interjection, and don't forget the reference point is Rick Smith, Confessions of a Moorish Legacy lecture on YouTube, as well as Rick Smith's book, The Moors More Mason and the Alien. And the Alien, yep. The More the Mason and the Alien and Moorish Legacy. Or, um, yeah. Confessions of a Moorish Legacy, Confessions yeah. Confessions of a Moorish Legacy, yeah. Sorry, Moore, go ahead. Yeah, so what's interesting about that is if Anu is the head of the Duk race, right, and this is on the walls of Kemet, which Kemetic god has Anu in their name? Anubis. Right, and isn't Anubis a dog or or a wolf? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a so there's a tie-in right there. Mm-hmm. The slum. You know, there's a tie-in right there. And 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 again, how how did we make this connection? Because of a European by the name of Rick Smith, who said, "Forget all the BS." I read. Pleasant Bay's book, Exhuming of a Nation. Mm -hmm. I watched some lectures by Taj Tariq Bay or whatever, and this thing is lining up exactly like the ethers passed it down to me. So I had to do this Confessions of a Moorish Legacy lecture in order to give the Moors their honors. Not make a page and talk BS about the Moors. Actually write a few hundred page book on this galactic history of the Moorish legacy that no one talks about. No one, absolutely no one except this European talks about the Moorish legacy from a galactic perspective. Now, people are going to use the black names and all that type of stuff, but he wasn't playing any of that BS. He was letting them know that the Moors are galactic. Right, and you could also go read Spanned Out Mystery by Peter Moon, mm -hmm. get some more galactic history from a European. Now, how do these Europeans know about this stuff? And our people are playing like they don't know what's going on, Moors don't know what they're talking about. But these European, who are the Negroes' god, is telling them that there's a galactic legacy of the Moorish paradigm. And they're not even paying attention to it. But then they're going to make stupid pages and, and put up dumb videos or whatever, talking crazy about Nobu Jwali, talking crazy about Moors, talking crazy about how we spell more. It's not like that, even though in ancient times, vowels are interchangeable. So even if we say more, M-O-O-R, it's really A-U-R or O-O-R or O-R or U-U-R or you you put any vowel there, it means more. M A A R, that's more. M I I R, that's more. You just pick a vowel and put it in there. M U I R, that's more. There's yep. no getting around it. But we know for a fact that there's a campaign to try to make our people think that they're not Moors. And it's not about them proclaiming a nationality and not about them honoring Nobu Juali. And that flag comes from the kingdom of Morocco and that's not your flag. And the Fez comes from the Turks and the turban comes from, you know what I mean, washcloths and all this type of BS. Right? Right. When it's all part of our ancient and modern history. Oh, yeah. And, he and then... Like the more just said in the chat, the pyramids are known as MR in ancient Kemet. And MR also spells more, which is why the great seal of the Moors is a pyramid. But that might be too much for them, so we're not even stop, we're stop there. Go ahead, Mark. Yeah, and I was about to say, and 
And I was just listening to, um, well, l- let me backtrack. So, you know, some people might say, well, you know, Anubis, that was true or whatever, and this and that, Egyptian God, whatever. But then they'll believe in Tahuti. Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. But then that said, I was and just Ma'at. listening to. Um, huh? And, and Ma'at. And Ma'at, yeah. And, and Horus. And and Asar and right. they believe in all that. As soon as you bring up Anubis, they don't want to go there. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a dog, that's a doghead guy. They, he doesn't count. All right. Mm. All right. Yeah. Go ahead, Mark. We yeah. So, him. yeah, I was listening to a lecture today um, with a seer, and he talked about how the the dog the the dog that you see the dark. The dark black, the, the black melanated dog, which is which is a, which is Anubis that you see, you know, you see like the smaller versions and stuff, like you know, in in um, uh, when you go to museums and stuff for I- ancient Egyptian sections, like when I went to the one in um, when I was in Paris and I went to the Louvre and stuff, they had you know they had the dog there, right? Mm. He commented that 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 dog originated. In South America, actually. Mm-hmm. And he, he said the name of the dog, too. It's in his latest. He, he just put up the lecture. Um, yeah. I think it was like yesterday or something like that. And he, 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 he said the name of the dog and stuff like that. It's a heavy, heavy melanated dog. Yeah. Um, even even, um, even Kalib and Aloe Vera, Doberman, mm-hmm. was the dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's him right there, Anubis, the Doberman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not some African. That's not some African dog. Yeah, with the trimmed ears. Yeah, the pointed up ears. Yeah. And 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 the yeah, because you have tail. to. Cause it's funny because you have to cut like for the Doberman. You got to cut the ears like that and 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 prop them up like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so he he yeah, Asir said the name of the dog and everything, and he said it's 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 native to uh to South America or Mexico or something like that. So that was also so if that's the case, once again, then that ties in with cocaine mummies, that ties in with, with all of that. With, yep. <laughs> with all of that, with the with the pharaohs being buried in South America. Like it ties in everything. It ties in yeah. with it ties in with Egypt being in South America first, having a war with the Atlanteans, and then going to the, going to uh, you know, Eastern Africa and stuff, and setting up shop there. Like it, t- that ties all of that stuff together. This this is the importance of um, making sure that whoever you claim you're learning some more stuff from. That they have at least a twenty years, yep, of Moorish history under their belt. Minimum. Any of these novices talking about they know something about Moors, don't listen to them. They don't, don't, don't even go there, right? Don't, don't even listen to us. That's why we give you reference points because we only yep. got twelve years in this. That's why we give you reference points. Because it ain't even about listening to us like that. We'll give you a reference point. Go check the reference point. More just said, see Free Manel in the chat. Mm-hmm. That's Bobby Hemet's teacher. But you're going to listen to Hemet, but you're not going to listen to see Free Manel? F-O-H. You don't even hear nothing that you people are saying. Nothing. More just brought up a seer, the Duke of Tears. Right? When we were black guys, Asir was a more talking Moorish when we were black conscious metaphysic guys. So stop the dumb stuff with listening to whoever says that they got a page or they got a website or they got whatever. If they don't have at least a 20 years in this, don't even consider listening to those people. And if you are going to be listening to people who have under 20 years, they better be referencing the 20 years people as where you should go to learn and study from. And and here's the crazy thing too. Here's the crazy thing too. That 20 years, if you think about it, 
that 20 years started in like 2011. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Those, those people that we're talking about that have 20 years, that's like back in 2011. So now it's, it's, it's upward of 25 to 30 years. If you think yeah, about it yeah. as a minimum. Yeah. Right. And then, and then when we, when we put all the reference people that, that we're talking about, you got over 200 years. Easy. Like that. Yeah. More. Yep. Right. Find me some black guys who, who they go back that far. You won't find any. It's not, it's not, it's not even possible. Because black just came out yesterday. Yep. Well, give thanks for that more. Yeah, yeah. Give thanks, man. Give thanks. Like, yeah. When I heard the Anu thing, I was like, yeah. okay. But then, <laughs> yeah, what, because I remember when I read it like years ago and I did the, the first video, I didn't really dig into it, right? I didn't mm -hmm. really go deep. I just said, okay, Palermo Stele. But then I found out Palermo Stele is Palermo Stone and all that. And I was mm -hmm. hearing the Anu thing, Anu thing. And then I was thinking, wait a minute. I heard that name before. Yeah. And then I just thought back to the, because I remember watching the Rick Smith video right, right, right when I started getting into this information in 2011. Yeah. yeah. Around that was, that was really one. Yeah. 2011, yeah. 2010 times. Yeah. Around there. Cause and, I, cause um, I think that was one of the, that was one of the, the first openly, um, open Europeans talking about it yeah from, from, yeah from some perspective that you know what I mean everybody could relate to right you know what I mean it wasn't some Moorish thing now he wasn't lecturing for some Moors or whatever this was the European doing a lecture and his lectures on the Moorish legacy like what yeah you mean you're lecturing on on more stuff and you're telling Moors about stuff we ain't never heard about yep right. yeah and then so I had to, I actually went back to it again, like a couple of years ago to, you know, and I'm like, wait a second. And he's breaking it down. And then he said the ducks and I'm like, oh, snap. So, cause, cause I heard the thing is, I remember hearing a seer saying it's Anubis and I wasn't mm -hmm. really, I wasn't really sure. And then that's what led me back to that video of Rick Smith's talking mm -hmm. about it. And then he said the duck mm -hmm. people, I'm like, okay, they're the dog race. So it has to be Anubis. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Dog, Dope, man. Dog. Yep. That's why. That's why more Avengers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, straight up. Straight more up, Avengers. more Avengers. Yep. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing but the master teachers. Yep. Nothing but yep. them. Yep. You no. Know, because trust me, these these Johnny come latelys just popping up. Right. Johnny come lately is popping up. Mm -hmm. Do not need to listen to these people. Yep. Which is why we throw them under the bus every chance we get. So you can't you can't say that you know we didn't tell you leave those people alone. We told you leave these people alone. If they mm -hmm. don't got twenty years. And they're not giving you reference points of Moors who have been in this for more than 20 years. People are playing you. Yeah. You're not going to get this information from some Johnny come latelys who they just they just bought their fez yesterday and they're trying to tell you about, about some Moorish history. Yep. And these yeah. 20, 20 year, 25 plus year Moors. Their book list that they'll give you on one topic is all kind of 10, 15 books on one topic. Mm -hmm. If it said like, if, if, you know, if they say, um, you know, Moors used to eat oranges every day, <laughs> yeah. right? To, to build up their vitamin C. I know for sure, like a seer is just like, you check this book, you check this book, you check this book, you check this book, you check this book. You know, it'll give you like nine, ten books on just Moore's eating oranges every day. Yeah. Yep. That's it. And then when you go to those books, you're going to get another 20, 25 books yeah. of that. 
with the ref yeah with the with the the bibliography and stuff like that off yeah. that yeah 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 straight up yeah now we also wanted to give you another reference point the holy tablets the holy tablets dr malachi york l Right, this is the Holy Tablets, Chapter 3. This term, oh, because the Angolans refer to them as Negra and they attack their ships, this term was later to change into Negra Omega or simply Negroes, those dead blacks, Negra or Morenos or Moors, they were called Moors. They were called Moor by the French, M-U-U-R. And some grafted this term, M-U-U-R, into their language from what they were being called in Latin, Morenos, Moor for blackness, which was a complement to the term Negra, meaning black. The Moors were called Moors, the M-U-U-R's were called M-O-O-R-S, also spelled M-O-O-R-E, M-A-U-R, prefixes many names today as M-A-R in Martin, Morris, Morrison, Mauritania, Morgan, Moorhead, Maurice, Maureen, Morgan, Morel, Morehouse, Marie, Maury, Murphy, and many more. Even, even the prefix of Irish names such as McDonald, McDouglas, McDougal, McVeigh, you know, Timothy McVeigh, you see why they attacked him or whatever? McCray, the MC was the abbreviation for the presence of Moors in Ireland. Dr. Malachi York. Do any people don't know who the Moors are? Any Mackenzie, McCletchy. <laughs> 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 you think we're Moors because we, we just found out some stuff yesterday? No, we've we been Moors. Been Moors. That's just who we are. That's just who we are. And for somebody to come and tell us we can't be Moors, but they're not going to go tell Chinese they can't be Chinese and debate them about why they call themselves Chinese and the origin of that. They're not going to talk to no Hindustanis or whatever. They're not mm -hmm. going to talk to any Mexicans or not talk to anybody else. The only people who they got issue with is Moors. How come they got issue with Moors? Because we're... we're the public enemy. Ain't nobody fear a black planet. Nobody fears a black planet. A black planet means these colonists get to do all the stuff that they're doing still. So nobody fears that. Everybody's down for black planet. We 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 don't we we're not with black planet. We're not even going there. It's a fiction. Our people are identified as Moors. Now, again, you go to your scholar guys, Chancellor Williams, who all these guys know. All the Negro black colored guys have the destruction of black civilization by Chancellor Williams. All of them have it. Why won't they deal with this fact presented by their black scholar guy? Now, again, just who were the Moors? The answer is very easy. The original Moors, like the original Egyptians, were black Africans. As amalgamation became more and more widespread, only the Berbers, Arabs, and coloreds in the Moroccan territories were called Moors, while the darkest and black-skinned Africans were called black Moors. So you can't escape being Moors. You're either a Moor or you're a black Moor. Eventually, Black was dropped from Blackamore. In North Africa and Morocco in particular, all Muslim Arabs, 
mixed breeds and Berbers are readily regarded as Moors. Big quotes. The African blacks, meaning you Negroes in America who don't know yourself, the African blacks having had even this name taken from them must contend for recognition as Moors. That's Chancellor Williams. Black scholar guy who all these guys honor, respect, bow down to him, carried his casket when they transitioned and all that stuff. And then now they're not even going there. They're not even quoting this. They're not debating him. They're not debating him. How come they're not debating him about the African blacks having had even this name taken from them must contend for recognition as Moors? Not contend for recognition as Africans or Negroes or the, the Nuwapians or the, the, the or whatever fiction these people made up. They must contend for recognition as Moors, period. Go ahead, Moore. Yeah, no, I just wanted to make a comment. Uh, uh, somebody in the chat, uh, what's his name? Mu- oh, oh, Matadi L. Really? Yeah, that brother Yusuf. Oh, that's Yusuf, okay. <laughs> because he said Blackamoor does not mean black a black. And I was just about to say that was the first common sense quickie video that I made. Yeah. So he yeah. so, okay, so it's Yusuf that he knows, yeah. <laughs> hiding. Yusuf hiding on his IG. <laughs> yeah. That's the really? first common sense quickie video that I made. If mm-hmm. black a, if if more means black, wouldn't that make black a more mean black a ba- black a black? Black a black. Black a black. Yeah. No, don't forget, there's another reference point. Canaan Land Moore's YouTube. Canaan Land Moore's YouTube. And look up Common Sense Quickies. Matter of fact, just go to the playlist so you don't have to look it up. We made it easy for you. Just go to Common Sense Quickies. On Canaan Land Moore's YouTube, go watch all the common sense quickies, which are going to give you reference points again, and come back and debate something in any of those common sense quickies. Come back and debate something. All right. So they were telling you about some Romans created created the term more. Well, if Romans look like this. What's the problem with Romans creating the term more? What's the problem? If this is how Romans look. If Romans look like this, why is there an issue with Romans creating the term more and all that stuff? Mori and all that. Why are they using Romans as a reference point from a negative perspective when Romans, original Romans, look like us? Is that, is that a problem? Original Greeks look like us. How do you think Socrates was able to get into the pyramid to go learn? Ain't no Europeans were going there to learn like that. They don't let no Europeans go into no university, no pyramid university to learn. You have to be Asiatic or, or amalgamated and have a higher level of melanin than recessiveness or you're not getting in. Just go check Socrates' stuff, him saying, oh, my nose is broad and my, my lips are thick and all that stuff. What do you, what do you think he's telling you? He's a European? Stop the dumb shit. Stop it. Take that stuff to the, to the black guys over there. We know who the Romans are. We know who the Greeks are. We know who all the founding European people were. It wasn't some pale people. It was people who looked like us. Like we said, if the Romans, if the Romans were looking like this, this is how the Romans were looking. This is how the Romans were looking. Ain't no way that's a European. And nobody can convince me that Romans are some pale people if their documents show Romans looking like this. Their documents show this. Their documents show Romans looking like this. Their stuff. Not our stuff. Their stuff. This is how they show 
the Romans. If that's how the Romans looked, and our people are saying, well, the Romans and all that stuff, and they start, start making it look as if these people are pale people, then the sorcerers did a good job. And and scroll down, scroll down uh, to the to the image that you, that you just that you right there. Now yeah. it's interesting because a seer's been breaking that down for the last for the last I think year or so that Rome came out of uh, Ethiopia, mm -hmm. and doesn't that look a little bit like Haile Selassie? Oh yeah, yep, the little nose. Yeah. <laughs> The little skinny nose bridge. Yeah. Little skinny nostrils. Right. So he broke that down that it came out of uh, Ethiopia, and that's why the first, like Coptic Christianity is technically the first Christianity, and that's from Ethiopia. One of the, one of the reasons. Right. And all they did, all they did was take the cross, take it out of the halo and then you don't have the Coptic cross anymore. Mm -hmm. Yep. All they did was take the cross, take it out of the halo and they're playing games with you and have you thinking that Moors don't know what we're talking about. We know exactly what we're talking about. We know exactly what we're talking about. So don't let them don't let them fool you. Don't let them play you out of your nationality and birthrights. Right? Yeah, More I gotta get on I gotta get on those you. books. I gotta get on those those books that uh I gotta read those books that Asir was was breaking that down from. I gotta read those yeah. to get get the full scope of it. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. That's that's all Moors do. That's all Moors do. Read those books. Get your knowledge game up. It's a lot more. I think this um thing's gonna give me the countdown soon. I started at, at seven. All like right. Two minutes. Um, um you have any closing any closing um remarks? No nah, man, that's about it. Peace and love to all the Moors. Um, you know. Peace, love, and light, all the Moors. Islam, more. Islam, and we'll, we're building tomorrow anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll connect in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. All right. All right. Peace and love. Peace, more. Peace. Islam. 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 If you got any questions, put it in the chat or. That's that. Don't forget tomorrow, we're going to be live with Brother Kush Day for some more uncomfortable conversations about these people putting up stuff, trying to make Moors look like we don't know what we're talking about. Tomorrow we'll be live again. If you didn't know, that was Brother Sheldon L., founder of Common Sense Quickies and founder of More Ventures. If you've never seen that, go to Canaan Land Moors and look up Morvel, More Ventures. Go watch that. So you can see the level that we're at with this. And, and for, for majority of people who, they got their Elodial nationality card and Fez and Turban and Moroccan flag in the house and all that stuff, this is not a game. We take this stuff very serious. Take this stuff very serious. Right? No, don't get drowned in the brainwaves playing around and then complaining. Why the more is mean and all this? No, 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 more is mean. That's just what truth is. If you don't want truth, then you stay, you stay dead over there. But we're not playing that dead stuff. We're in full life every day, all day, even when we sleep. Peace and love to all the Moors worldwide. If um, so tomorrow we're gonna 
get into tomorrow we're going to get into the moors and the sundry act of 1790 with the good brother kush day right here on canaan land moors ig if you have any questions feel free to hit the dm right I'm new and every meeting someone gets a bit of Moore's knowledge. Yep, that's that's what the point is. That's what the point is because we've been played. We've been played by our own. So if we've been played by our own and we know who played us, time to stop listening to those people who've been playing us and start listening to the real scholars. Who are the Moors? And like we told you, we deal with Moors who have 20 plus years Moorish history. We don't deal with anybody else. We don't deal with anybody else. Chancellor William Williams came up because he had enough respect for the Moors to tell these people that the only way they're going to get recognized in the world is if they say that they're Moors. But Negro Black Color don't want to hear that. But it's okay. You know what I mean? They can listen to what they want to. All we're, all we're here for, we're the ocean. All we're here for is to catch the little raindrops that want to come out of the clouds and be part of the ocean. Everybody else, you just stay in the clouds, do your do your dark, dark cloud thing. We ain't worried about you people. We don't care if you want to know about this or not. We're only catering to the ones who want to know. We only want to deal with the ones who want to wake up. If you don't want to wake up, stay asleep. It's all good. We're not going to take it personal. Peace and love to all the Moors worldwide. Honors to the Prophet Nobu Juali for all the great work that he did in the time that he had to do it. Honors to all the active Moors worldwide, all the studious Moors worldwide. Honors to all the Moorish master teachers with 20 plus years experience that's been putting this info out so our people could be saved. And of course, we can't forget honors to the Stargate, honors to the Vortex, honors to the mothers, all mothers. Thank you for bringing us here. Thank you for bringing us here. Peace and love to all. Islam.